there are various uh, benefits that the Baringo people will be able to accrue out of this uh, framework. First of all is that we now have a structured engagement between the county and ourselves, uh, but more specifically, this uh, collaboration framework has covered areas to do with uh, education. How do we then, from the benefits that we accrue from uh, this engagement, can we be able to construct a school? And if we need to, where? And so this collaboration will be able to provide us with that the way. Health, as uh, the CEC talked about, uh, the health facility that is already existing within uh, Parker area. We have a desire within this financial year to see whether we can be able to equip it with a, an ambulance so that it can be able to not only take care of the local, uh, of our staff within that area, but also take care of the local community that uh, has been very graciously, gracious in, uh, in uh, hosting us. Of course, there's this whole issue about water facility, as you are aware, as the governor said, we pump water from Lake Baringo all the way to Paka, Korosi, and all the way to Silali. The project itself had integrated within the project uh, an aspect of providing water to the community. So we have already 20 uh, water sites where water is purified for the local community to be able to, to use for their consumption. And we also have watering points for their domesticated animals, about 40 of them. So that is what the project has. But this framework provides us an opportunity, therefore, to see whether there'll be other areas where there'll be need and how we could be able to engage.